Hello friends, let's take this uh, deduction uh, problem. All snakes are butterfly. So it uh, starts with all. Second, all butterflies are crows. The third one starts with some. So some crows are peacocks. What we know is when all A's are B's, how do we draw the diagram? This is A and this is B. All A's are B's. If I have to draw a diagram, when some A's are B's, how do I draw a diagram? This is A and this is B and some A's are B's. Here, some A's are B's. Reverse is also true. Some B's are A's. Okay. When all A's are B's, and there are two statements. Some B's are C's. Some B's. They are C's. So I will draw the diagram this way. Some B's are C's. Okay. Second one. When all A's are B's. This is A and this is B. All A's are B's. Next term. Some A's are C's. What was here? Some B's are C's. So I made an intersection of B. But in the second case, some A's are C's. So to make some A's are C's, I need to draw the diagram this way. This is C. Therefore, some A's are C's. So in order to make some A's are C's, some B's are also C's and some C's are also B's. Here what I can say when it is said some B's are C's. The only thing I can say some C's are B's. But I cannot say anything between A and C. When I say I cannot any, uh, say anything about A and C. That means we have four type of statement. One starts with all. Second starts with some. Third starts with a no. And fourth starts with a some not okay so when when i say here as some b's are c's therefore i cannot say anything between a and c that means i cannot say all a's are c's i cannot say some a's are c's i cannot say no a is c because in that this diagram it seems that no a is c but the some b's are c's can be drawn from there here also in this way Therefore, we cannot say some no A is C. Third, we cannot say some A's are not C's. Reverse, we cannot say all C's are A's. We cannot say some C's are A's. We cannot say no C is A. Uh, no C is A. We cannot say some C's are not A's. Okay. But coming to this part, as it is said, some A's are C's. Therefore, I can definitely say some B's are C's. Some C's are B's. Although it did not talk in between B and C. It said all A's are B's and some A's are C's. Directly there is no statement for B and C. Some A's are C's. So in order to make some A's are C's, it is possible only when C enter inside B and come up to A. Therefore, some B's are C's, some C's are B's. So, with this background of understanding, let's take the answer of this question that uh, all snakes are butterfly. So, we can take this uh, in this way. All snakes are butterfly. Next, all butterflies are crows. So, this is the diagram. Third, some crows are peacock, some crows. Did it say some butterfly? No. Did it say some snakes? No. It is said some crows, that's the black uh, circle, are peacocks. So the diagram uh, to be drawn is in this way. Some crows are peacocks. This is the idea. Some crows are peacocks. Can you say anything about peacock and butterfly? No. Peacock and snakes? No. 
when i say we cannot say anything we cannot say from all we cannot say from some we cannot say from no we cannot say from some not so nothing can be said in between snake and peacock in between butterfly and peacock so what should be my answer in that case let's verify the answers the conclusions are all snakes are crows this is snake this is crow obviously i can see that all snakes are crows so first one is valid what about second one some butterflies are peacocks okay. now where is butterfly this is butterfly where is peacock peacock is here i know some crows are peacock but i don't know about butterfly and peacock and i don't know about snake and peacock so coming to this conclusion as i do not know butterfly and uh, peacock therefore i cannot say anything about butterfly and peacock whatever you can say is a possibility only is not a conclusion okay so what it is it some butterfly or peacock what do you say is it right or wrong it should be now we cannot conclude that's what i am not saying it's wrong we cannot conclude with a limited information let's move on to the third one all crows are snakes all crows are snakes what i know is all snakes are crows you are expected to know the direct point for uh, to conclude the third one you don't need even the diagram when you know all crows are snakes then the only thing you can say is some snakes are crows if you take the snake as subject then with snake what you can say about crow some snakes are crows not all snakes are crows whenever you say all is or bees the only thing you can say is some bees are is okay whenever you say all apples are banana the only thing you can say about banana as in subject with apple is some banana sir apple so the similar way here what i know all snakes are crows so what i can say about crow as a subject with snakes some crows are snakes but i cannot say all crows are snakes therefore this cannot be concluded so only one and uh, only one i can see option choice 3 there is another way of representation of it you just can observe uh, the next one so this is first one all snakes are butterflies second one all butterflies are crows and the third one some crows are peacock i am repeating the same thing what i explained in the uh, other way this is some crows are peacock this is the right way of drawing the diagram why i know the relation between crow and peacock through third statement so i should not extend uh, any relation with the uh, other terms that means i should not extend the relation with peacock to snake i should not extend the relation with peacock to butterfly what happens let's see this one now in this case too some crows are peacocks is it right some crows this is black one is crow and the yellow one is peacock so some crows are peacock but along with some crows are peacock there is one more thing is getting true that is some butterfly you can see that red and yellow intersection and the red is butterfly yellow is peacock so it's not only some crows are peacock but also some butterflies are peacock which is not said in the statement okay it can be drawn in this way to look at this third way i can draw this way so did it satisfies some crows are peacocks crow is the black one peacock yellow now i can see 
some crows are peacocks, some peacocks are crows. The third one satisfies. But along with that, some more conclusions are coming. What is that? It yellow is intersecting with red. That means some peacocks are butterfly. Yellow is intersection with the snakes. That means some snakes are peacocks or some peacocks are snake. What is the limited information I have? Some crows are peacock. How did I draw the diagram? Not only some crows are peacock. The way I draw the diagram, some butterflies are peacocks, some snakes are peacocks. That is, out of my own I have drawn it, which is not mentioned in the statement. And the next one is, it could be this way also. Look at this. Some crows are peacock is right or not. Crow is black one and peacock is yellow one. And I can see that there is an intersection of black and yellow circle. Therefore, some crows are peacock. But along with some crows are peacock, what else has happened? There is an intersection <laughs> intersecting with red. That means some butterflies are peacock. Now, the entire snake is inside yellow circle. That means all snakes are peacocks. I will ask you a question. Please tell me where it is said all snakes are peacock. It is not said. If it is not said, why did you draw this diagram? I will ask the same, uh, second question to you. Where did it say that some butterfly, red one, some butterflies are peacock? Did it say anywhere some butterflies are peacock? No. Then I will ask a question to you. Why did you draw a diagram which indicates that some butterflies are peacock? So, I should limit myself to the given information, some crows are peacock. That means the diagram uh, should be my initial diagram, that is, some crows are peacock. Based on that, when you start observing, you will find that only one, as we discussed earlier, only one follows. Not two, not three, therefore your option choice is three. I hope uh, I could clear this problem.